It has been several years in the making, but central water and sewer is finally becoming available into Leon Springs. And today, Volusia County leaders celebrated this milestone. Well, she's Pamela Cohn found this project will help this town once again flourish. Many grew up coming to De Leon Springs. This is a beautiful, natural, you know, gym of Florida, of course. All Amy Manizzi had were good memories. Back in 05, she decided to move here, but she was warned not to come. My husband's a general contractor, and people said, you don't want to move to De Leon Springs because you won't be able to build anything up there. For many years, this town has relied on an overworked septic system, which was impacting water quality at the spring. Amy saw these water issues draw out business and even impact a local school. For many years, on an almost daily basis, officials have been coming out to McKinnis Elementary, testing the water and making sure it's safe to drink and use. When it wasn't safe, we would have to bring in water stations for the students and cups and um, all of our water faucets uh, around campus would be shut down and um, students would not be able to drink water within their own classrooms. The $11.25 million project is bringing a three mile long centralized sewer system to US 17. The new system will reduce the nutrients finding its way into the water, making it at times undrinkable. It will also help restore the spring to its once pristine condition. We love our rural life out here. We don't want to become a big city. Um, we just don't want to be decrepit is what I've said so many times. You know, we want to be pretty again. This project will also bring fire hydrants to the area. It will help bring down insurance costs for businesses and make the area safe for everyone. In Volusia County, Pamela Combe, West 2 News. Now that the infrastructure is in, they are undergoing some final tests, and McKinnis Elementary hopes to be connected to the water by Monday.